to another episode of the Technology Guy. So today we'll be answering the question, how has the mobile gaming industry changed? So in a second, we're gonna be taking a look at some products from the 1980s, some from the 90s, and even some products from today's time. And we're gonna be seeing how has this revolutionary industry that came out in the late 80s has changed over the years. So without further ado, let's get today's episode started. Okay, so the first product that we're gonna be looking at today is the original Nintendo Game Boy. Now, this was released in 1985, of course, by Nintendo, and really doesn't look much to, like much today by today's standards. It had pretty much a black and white screen, had no backlight, and if you wanted to actually play a game, you had to insert um, a game part. Now, that is not too obsolete today because most game consoles, you, you still have that option. But really, most people today say that really will think that this is a piece of poop. But honestly, this was this machine really started the mobile game industry. It's one of the first um, mobile game consoles to really just explode. Now, honestly, in 1989, this was the hit product to get. If you had one, you were probably like the coolest kid in school. This was the thing to have because really, it was... People thought it was so cool to be able to take um, your Nintendo Entertainment System, by the way, that was released in 1985, on you, on the go, in this smaller package. Now, people, uh, all everyone thought that was really cool. Now, looking at this picture... Um, this is a timeline of all the Game Boy alterations, starting with the original one, 1989, then the Game Boy Pocket, the Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance SP, the Game Boy Micro, and then you will eventually get to the Nintendo DS. Now, this was released in around 2004, 2005-ish, and this machine really set the standards once again for the mobile game industry. It had a color screen, and the game cartridge which was in a much smaller form. It also had a flip-up to screen now this like i said really set new standards and anything that didn't meet up to the standards during this time was considered a piece of junk now the ds once again when it first came out like everyone wanted to have it it was like the coolest thing so moving actually to today's time this is the playstation vita made by sony now a lot of, now, this, when it came out in 2012, you know, it replaced the PSP. Now, that was a huge product. But, surprisingly, this product did not get as much sales as the PSP. Now, the reason, now, the reason why isn't because it has a stupid feature or it's very buggy. This product actually works just fine. So, I want you to think for a second. Why did this project, why did this product, which was obviously better than the PSP, not get enough sales? The correct answer is actually because of the timing that it came out. This product, the PlayStation Vita, was made into was released in 2012. And by this time, smartphones were the newest thing. Now, looking at the next thing that I'm gonna show you, this is the iPhone 3G. Now the iPhone 3G was the first iPhone to be able to have the app store on it where you can download your new um, download your games and play it right on your phone. Now, the iPhone and other smartphones once again changed the mobile gaming industry because once, what you know, a few years later after this came out, especially today, it's almost like obsolete to have a separate device for portable gaming because all portable gaming is now just done on your iPhone or iPad, which can also do multiple things. So the reason why the PS Vita um, didn't get as much sales as the PSP wasn't because of it has stupid features or is buggy. It's because it was created in an error or era where that, these consoles are starting to become more and more obsolete. So let's go into the studio and really discuss it all together using all these facts and all these products that we just learned about how mobile gaming has really changed. Okay, so welcome back in the studio. So, looking back and just talking about what we just looked at, we just looked at the main flagship mobile gaming products that started from 1989 with the original Game Boy. Now, like I said, that was one, probably one of the, that was probably the first flagship mobile gaming product, and that really set the standards for everything else. It really started that industry, the Nintendo Game Boy. So, what was I trying to get out of this video? 
clearly the mobile gaming industry has changed. But yes, it has, you know, the products have clearly gotten thinner. Those screens have gotten a lot better because, you know, they're backlit, you know, and a lot more clearer. But I think the main thing that changed the mobile gaming industry is probably time. Every year there's new advancements in technology. Clearly, the iPhones, you know, the iPhones that you can play games on today are a lot, you know, a lot better, they're a lot sleeker, they look a lot better than the Game Boy from 1989. Because, you know, we have new standards now. So I think the new way of mobile gaming is by just putting everything all in one. Like I said before, in the 90s, even early 2000s, if you wanted to play mobile gaming and have a cell phone, really, you needed two separate products. But today, everything is more all in one. With your newest, latest iPhones, and even Samsung phones, basically any smartphone with um, the Google Play Store, the App Store, in the Amazon store, um, you can make calls, you can text, you can go on the internet, you can even play games on one product. Now that would that that wasn't a thing back in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, which are really the time period that we're looking back at today's video. So hopefully, um, you learned something through this video. Before um I end, it, I just want to say, um, hopefully you guys like um the new intro uh, that I made. In a second, you're about to see the new outro um when the video is over. Anyway, guys, if you have any topics they want me cover in this series please not let me know down in the comment section below and yeah guys until next time we'll see you later a uh, goodbye bye